Hello everybody and welcome to Sew Aldo. On today's sewing tutorial, I am going to show you how to easily take in this dress. As you can see, this is a little big right here around the arms or the sleeves. It's a little big. I just want to adjust it a little bit just like this. Yeah, because it's just too long. As you can see, I'm kind of getting lost um, in this oversized sleeves right here. I got this dress from the Nordstrom Rack and I only got it for $10. So that was a steal. I immediately grabbed this one just because I love the color and luckily it was on my size. Uh, yeah, but the problem is it's just a little big here. The length is good. It fits me really nice around the waistline. The only problem is the sleeves are a little bit loose. Just a little too big. It seems like I'm getting lost here. So anyway, if you are new here, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I post new video every Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning central time. And don't forget to hit the notification so you won't miss out whenever I post a new one. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did was tried on the dress and I knew I had to take in about 2 inches right on the underarm seams. After that, I'm going to cut off the sleeves. And then I am going to trim off the seams right here just to clean up the edges. And then I'm going to measure in 2 inches from the side seam right here and then I mark it. Basically going to taper it from the underarm seam all the way to the waistline as you can see here. I'm going to sew a straight stitch right along here and I'm going to try to blend it on the waistline's original seam. I will repeat the same step on the other side seam. Um, if you're not comfortable doing it like straight shot, I suggest you do a base stitch first and then try it on the dress. And then if you are satisfied the way it fits, go ahead and do a straight stitch. And then I'll go ahead and trim off the excess fabrics on both side seams. And then I am going to overlock the edge here and I just use my sewing machine for this because my serger has white threads and I'm kind of lazy to re-thread it. So I just use my sewing machine. I have an overlock feature on my sewing machine. But if you don't have that, you can use a zigzag stitch instead. Now it's time to join the sleeves. But first, I will have to trim it. I simply match the side seam and the underarm seam just like this and I place the sleeve right under so I can trace the curve of the armhole and I'm just using my pins to uh, mark it. And then I added a quarter of an inch seam allowance just like so, and I'm going to trim off the excess fabric. I will use the sleeve that I just finished as a template, so the sleeves are going to be symmetrical. Now it's time to attach the sleeves. I am going to match the underarm seams and the shoulders and then pin it all the way around. 
By the way, if the sleeves are a little too big for the armhole, you can easily ease it by sewing a base stitch right on the top of the shoulders and kind of slightly gather it so it will fit in the armhole. And then I am going to sew it all the way around. I start at the underarm seams. And I also overlock the edges just to make it uh, nice and finished. Obviously, you are going to repeat the same steps on the other sleeve and the dress is done. This alteration project took me about 10 minutes to finish. So this is the final product. As you can see, it looks so much nicer. It's not um, oversized around the shoulder and it's not too big around the side here. It fits just right. I'm really pleased the way this um, alteration turned out. If this is really helpful to you. Don't forget to share it. Maybe one of your friends or families will find this video helpful. Remember, sharing is caring, especially here on YouTube. If you are looking for more sewing tutorials for beginners, I have over 200 sewing tutorials that are available here in my channel. Can you believe that? 200 sewing tutorials. I'm going to have the playlist right here so you can go ahead and check them out. Be part of my Sew Aldo fam by subscribing to my channel. I post new video every Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning central time. Also, don't forget to hit the notification so you will get new updates whenever I post a new one. So that's it for today and I will see you in the next video. Bye!